Three Developer Academy, Kelby. Three Developer Academy uh, clients. So first, let's just these inbound or outbound. None of these are inbound. All outbound. Awesome. All outbound. Okay, so let me just quick mark what we're doing here. So who sent what? We'll get there. Okay. So the, this is this is a program. This program, they they're quarterly. Uh, we're quarterly. They're running. Let's say 100k a quarter, which is eight to ten classes. And we're doing everything from training, coordination, through delivery, plus an LMS. Cool. So that's what we're doing for them. I triage is a program. It's quarterly. It's a 20K a quarter. It's a eight learning spikes in the year. Um, we're doing everything from training through delivery and LMS. Could you put slash YR after spikes? No, oh, and the eight to ten on dish is 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 learning spikes or classes. Oh okay. Okay. Got it. And then it, now you said LMS. We we are running their LMS. Is yeah. that what you said? Wow, we are running their LMS. In both cases. And they have two different LMSs. This is uh, it's for that for these guys. It's Eventbrite because we're just doing basic. Okay. Event management, and for this, we're doing Arlo. Okay. And that's those that that software they bought. This we we licensed it. We gave it, we licensed it, and we sold it to them. We're not, it's just bundled into the price. Wow. Back to our conversation from yesterday. Wow. Yep. Wow. Got it. Totally yep. incredible. Okay. Yep. So, Salesforce, it, so these guys, this is like 90% of my idea on the Developer Academy, because we're almost doing everything, right? And Salesforce is probably 60, 60%. So they're programmed um, annual. This is an annual actually. Um, we are doing 35 classes a year. Um, we're doing, we're doing training coordination. It's cord. And some program management. And this is, uh, this is 600 grand. Okay. And that's 20K per quarter for i per quarter. Okay. But these guys, yes, these guys, they have 80 engineers. These guys have 800 engineers. These guys have, you know, 1,000 plus. So the dollars per quarter, the, the dollars per engineer is interestingly different between i triage and, uh, and Salesforce. Um, so we're getting 20, 40. I got it. So we're making, so it's one this of them is more profitable. This is a thousand dollars an employee basically, right? And this is less than that. Okay. And this is got it. Less than that. If, if we are the ones um, picking the LMS, are we going to, are we going to recommend Arlo or are we going to recommend? Uh, depends. It depends if we acquire that thing, Carl, or not. Right, but between now and when we make that decision, would we? What would we tell our we, customers? We would push our loan. Okay. Okay. Yep. Got it. Yep. So um, this one, so this, these are all outbound, right? 
These are all outbound. Yep. Outbound leads. So this is. Uh, so the first, the first, uh, the fr who sent the first message? Oh, this is a list, list built by Josh. Got it. Old SDR. Okay. He sent the Developer Academy. The emails that have been recently Email. sent by the SDRs? Yep. Oh, okay. I created. Okay. Just so we're clear. Yep. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Sent the Developer Academy email, called John, the CIO, probably a bunch of times. So Josh had a conversation with John. Never had a conversation. Okay. Just but left, he left voicemail. Left voicemails. Yep. Uh, John um, forwarded info to Heather. So the cadence is he sent an email, he'd call. A few days later, he'd send an email, he'd call. A few days later, he'd send an email and call. Traditional cadence, right? Perfect. Left, probably called this guy a bunch. Knew of John because at the previous company he was at, he sold, tried to sell a database product to John. So John at least- Unsuccessfully or- Unsuccessfully. So at least John maybe recognized his name. Mm. Don't know. Got it. But John port, passed this down to Heather, had a call with Heather. And Heather is the CLO? Heather is the, yep, she is the senior IT program manager. So reports to a VP. Uh, in HR or no, in IT? In IT. Very important, very cool. So, so that's she good to know. Reports to a VP of IT who reports to CIO. Got it. Do they have L and D? Um, they have HR. So what happened is that Heather used to sit under HR. Yeah. And then they moved her into that. And she ran facilities and trainings and the whole thing under HR. But then they broke it off, put her under the CIO to do all of the same type of things, but focused on IT. I bet that kind of thing happens uh, a lot because HR and L&D folks are typically not technical. Yes. And the technical people want to have the oversight on on the, that kind of thing. I, this is really, really good info. Yep. So we had calls with, I had a call with Heather. Um, and she, Josh was still around. So Josh and I had a call with Heather, had a couple calls with Heather, then met face to face. Um, okay. Uh, in the first call with Heather, um, was Heather, how did the first call go? And so the first call with Heather, she asked us what I did, what we did, and she had read the Developer Academy emails. So we went through very high level Developer Academy pitch deck. This is what we're doing. We're gonna reduce your cost of training by 30 to 50%. We're gonna do everything for you. You don't need to build the infrastructure. We'll just do it all. And what was her reaction to that? Um, her reaction is, let's meet in person. So. And they're located here? They're located in Englewood. Yep, so they're located here. Yep. Wow. Okay. So. Local person. Local person. Had a, had a senior level person say, talk to these guys. Actually, the first call she wanted to meet in person. Very. Well, maybe not the first call, but very quickly. Maybe this is the second call, but really, right. really quickly, let's get together. Because right. I'm sure Josh had a few calls with her that I wasn't part of. Ah, okay, that's important. That's but that's they good. Didn't really talk. I don't think they talked about. They did. They did whatever Josh would do. Right. Whatever as, Josh would do to warm up a lead. Right. Did you ever hear Josh warming up a lead? He had. He has. Um, he had great rapport with somebody. So if, if he cold called you and you'd answer, 
Like within five, 10 seconds, he could create rapport. He would tell a joke or say something and got the person talking. Did you ever hear any of his jokes? I'm sure, but not that. Okay, but it was instant rapport. Instant rapport. Using humor. Using and, humor or personal connection, he would uh, he would look at the person's LinkedIn before he would call them. You know, see where they were from, see if he had any connection. Perfect. Did did the traditional research and and he did this uh, kind of outreach, uh, eight hours a day. Was he full time or a part time? Full time, but he only. It's a different conversation, Mike. But he okay. only worked maybe three hours a day. Okay, got it. Okay. And s as a data point, set up, set up probably t anywhere from seven to 12 initial meetings per month, working about three hours a day, four hours a day. That's a very important data point. Um, with that, I'm going to, uh, uh, no, let's finish Dish and then I'll cut this, this, this movie, and then we'll go to the next one. Okay. So we'll do it in chunks. So met face to face. Uh, I went over my pitch deck again. I I did a I did an exact pick. We met face to face. I went through the whole pitch deck, which is thirty slides. We talked about what we're doing. Heather said this is great. Blah 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 blah. Took the information. We left. So on and so forth. And then maybe a couple weeks later. She's like, hey, I would like you to come back down, probably a month later, hey, I'd like you to come back down and do a consolidated pitch to the executives. The senior management of DISH or the executives of IT? Uh, John, the CIO, Yeah. and his two VPs. Phenomenal. Do you have that deck that you showed? I do, yep. yep. Have you given it to me yet? No. <laughs> Not. So for a, so for a month, she and I worked on yeah. we developed yeah. a yeah. executive pitch deck. So it's five slides. You developed it together with Heather. Yep. That's critical. That's fantastic. That's how we should be doing this. That's how I typically do it because Heather's job depends on her success with you. Right. This right. is she's a, you know for me the way that I viewed it is that Heather it was tasked to create training. Yep. Orbisy technical training. Yep. Uh, John said to Heather, or John said to Eric, her boss, we're losing people, the culture sucks, we need to bring training in more frequently. So Heather got that task. So Heather was meeting with me. She's, you know, she works with Safari and a bunch of different training vendors. So I think she was really just validating, figuring out, are these guys legit? Are they not legit? Right? So doing the gatekeeper test. High level uh, um, due diligence. High level due diligence. Gatekeeper, yep. in my mind, is sort of that early stage. Right. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, vetting, vetting a vendor. Yeah. Vetting yeah. A vendor. It's, it's vendor management. She's been trained. She's right. actually gone to courses on vendor management. I 100%. Bet. Yeah. 100%. So. So we. So by the time. So by the time. We had met face to face. Oh, there's one more thing. So after our first face to face, we ran our survey. This is not quite right. After our first face-to-face, -face, we ran our survey. Then I presented the results. To the... To Heather. To Heather, yep. And money and a program. This is what it would cost. Then after that, for the ne over the next 30 days, we pared down this presentation, pitch basically, this presentation and proposal into a five-slide Exact. How long did summary. the five slide uh, executive summary take you when you presented it to uh, the CIO and his VPs of IT? 10 minutes? 10 minutes, max. We had a half an hour. And in a half an hour, when I met with John in his office and Eric and Heather, when, when we met for a half an hour, we had about two minutes to talk about personal stuff. He jumped in, okay, what do you guys have for me? Typical what you would expect, what do you have for me? This is what I proposed to you, John. How, and then he asked, how do you envision it kicking off? Well, we're gonna put a piece of software in place, we're gonna handle everything for you, you guys don't have to worry about it. Very to the point, and then he said, okay, this looks great, ready to make this partnership happen, type of deal. 
in 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. 